Nightingale 3.0 Choice, Chance and Change How 11 women made the choice to take a chance and change their lives. The third in the Nightingale franchise comes to you with the extraordinary stories of 11 remarkable women. Written by R. Sivakumar and V. Patabiram. Nandita Shah Parekh The first woman gold medalist in the CA final examination. She stood up for women's empowerment in the profession, mentored youngsters, climbed mountains, traveled far and wide, and now leads a schedule she describes as retired from work, engaged with life. In between, Nandita Parekh broad-based her grandfather's CA firm and carried out a merger in the auditing space. Anuradha Mahesh When a young CA realized that the apple of her eye, her son, would lose out on many milestones and be a special child forever, it tore her heart. In the jigsaw puzzle of life, she missed one piece. Not money, not a career, not spirituality, not a relationship. When she found the peace, it became a turning point in her life. Anuradha Mahesh now works to provide the specially abled with sheltered employment. Sangeeta Sumesh A little girl from a middle class family in Chennai dreamt of bungalows and foreign trips. This is the story of her rise to the upper echelons of the industry. Know her journey towards becoming the CFO and ED of a global major. The 46-year-old now coaches corporate leaders and entrepreneurs on high performance and leadership. Thanamai Ramachandran Growing up amidst poverty, she chased the dream of education and CA. Life wasn't kind to her. When her husband met with a fatal accident that threw her life back to where it all began. But she did not lose her focus. Worked, studied and finally at 37 emerged as a CA. Now a vice president of HDFC Bank, she is highly respected in her circle. Shri Priya Kumar A former NCC cadet and a PW intern, Shri Priya Kumar worked in a Ford Mahindra before setting up her CA firm. Her claim to fame is her six-year stint in governing council as an elected member, where she was both eloquent and hard-nosed. Did she make a difference in the male-dominated zone? What's she up to next? S.N. Rajeshwari From stage Salem, she rose to become the chairman and managing director of India's giant public sector insurance company. The first woman CA head of an insurance major, S.N. Rajeshwari brings dignity and grace to her office. Now, as an upcoming regulator, she plans to take insurance to the masses. Sharada Sri Ram Without compromising her duties as a daughter, a spouse and a mother, she demonstrated her entrepreneurial skills. Together with her partner, they run 1000 plus centers that teach abacus and other learning skills to children in India and abroad. A CA rank holder and a gold medalist CWA, Sharada Sriram has entrepreneurship run in her blood. Meena Kumari Venkateswaran First a career in corporate India, later in journalism, then CA practitioner come teacher, before completing the circle of getting back to companies, albeit abroad. She probably could have been a star dancer if she had seriously followed up on her Bharatnatyam. The woman who took the road less travelled and was drawn towards community service. Vidya Nagarajan At 36, she was amongst the youngest partners in a big four public accounting firm. She has spent all her time in tax and almost all of them in one firm 
at a time when it's fanciful to switch horse midstream. Hailing from the cultural heartland of Chennai, Vidya Nagarajan is on her way to winning a race of her creation. Pushkala Hariharan The girl next door overcame personal tragedy and financial hardships. She battled against depression through her 3D glasses of discipline, dedication and determination. She proved she could stand tall when she pushed the envelope to hit a promising career in India's well-known public sector undertakings. A case of a dream and a drive. Lakshmi Ramamurthy A corporate woman who took multiple breaks from corporate India to take care of her family comes back each time with renewed vigor to scale newer heights. Lakshmi symbolizes what can be achieved if you look for solutions and not problems. She currently runs an Anganwadi school with the government and plans to take the idea far and wide. Our varied writing team consists of Balaji Swaminathan, a freelance journalist. Sudha Atreya, a civil engineer. Valambal Subramanyam, a school teacher, all from Bengaluru. Chartered Accountants, Geeta Ranganathan from Chennai, Lijil Lakshman from Kochi, and Siddharth Ranjan from Bhuvaneswar. And finally, journalist J. Evangeline from Puducherry. Pieced together by C.A. R. Sivakumar and C.A. V. Pattabiram. Giving a life to all this is the design by N. Malay Selvan. You can order your copy in Amazon.in and also available in Amazon Kindle version. And finally, signing off is voice artist Harish Sahas for Team Nightingale. Nightingale 3.0 Choice, Chance and Change How 11 women made the choice to take a chance and change their lives. The choices you make, the chances you take, shapes the kind of changes you want for your sake. Nightingale 3 is an inspirational book revolving around the life journey of 11 chartered accountant women talking about the choices they made, the chances they took that shaped the changes that they wanted in their lives. I'm Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh and I'm delighted to be featured in this book. It made me feel nostalgic as it took me down memory lane from my childhood to becoming a seasoned professional. My journey talks about becoming a chief financial officer and then moving on to becoming a business coach. Hearty congratulations to the authors on the launch of the book and wishing the book a roaring success. Hello, I'm Nandita Parekh, a Chartered Accountant uh, and uh, really honored to be recognized as one of the Nightingales uh, in the book that is now being released. Uh, when I enjoyed a certain period of my professional life, I wanted to replicate it for others. I had a really nice article ship and I made sure that whoever articled with me also have very, very happy memories of their article ship. When I had some difficulties in my professional life, I tried to reduce those difficulties for others. So as a woman trying to balance my work and my life, uh, I encountered uh, certain uh, difficulties and I resolved them with a uh, lot of harmony. So whenever I come across women professionals, I try to make life easier for them by giving them work that has meaning and life which remains comfortable. Now when I look back, I always feel that uh, a professional is not about what you earn or what you take home. It is all about what you give, the impact and the influence that you create. Thank you. Namaste. My name is Vipriya Kumar and I'm a Chartered Accountant. At the outset, I'm very deeply honoured and humbled to have been featured in this book, Nightingale's Edition 3, which seeks to celebrate the lives of women professionals. And I'm thankful to God and to each one of you who made this very exciting personal and professional journey possible. 
As women, we have a lot to contend with. And the only thing that seems to be a constant is the balancing act that we do between our personal and professional lives. And very often, in our times of need, I found this very helpful to think of this as an auto-suggestion. Have you ever wondered why the most powerful portfolios in the divine cabinet are actually held by women gods? Lakshmi for wealth, Saraswati for knowledge, and Shakti for defense. And if these women gods and the many women around us have managed to multitask and deliver exceptionally well, so can we. Here's wishing you a very, very happy Women's Day 2021. Thank you. Hi, I'm very happy and uh, feel extremely blessed to be featured in this Nightingale's edition 3. Um, more than me, my parents are super related, absolutely top of the world uh, uh, for this, uh, for the distinction of being featured. Uh, I want to thank all my extended family, my friends, my colleagues, uh, my firm, uh, for all the support, encouragement, uh, and best wishes of me for through the years. Hi friends, I am CA Tanamai Ramachandran and I am extremely delighted to be featured in this book Nightingale 3.0. As I look back at the years gone by, I am thankful to God who made my life, my career and now this book to happen. Above all I can say that women are indeed made of sterner stuff. Happy of course in happy times and the strongest in times of distress. This book has made a reason to make me want to do more, to be an outstanding professional and in the days to come, I hope to give back to the society at least some part of all the goodness I have received. Here is to great times ahead for all of us, women in particular. Stay safe, stay happy and be good. Hi, I am Anuradha Mahesh. And I'm very happy to be a part of this Nightingale book. It's indeed a great privilege to share space with so many accomplished women. I always believed that we all have just one life, a short one, and hence we need to live it with a lot of love and dignity and of course happiness. So if you believe that doing something gives you happiness or what you're doing is actually making you feel happy, that's about it. I think this is the same for everybody, you, me, Somebody who is differently able, specially able, just able, it doesn't make a difference. I think we all need to appreciate that, understand that and work towards an inclusive environment, an inclusive world and appreciate the goodness and kindness in everybody. Because at the end of the day, there is ability in every disability. It's due to the good wishes and encouragement of Shiva Kumar sir that I have the honour of being featured on the pages of Nightingale's Three today. What would have otherwise been a very daunting task indeed was made pleasant because of Mr. Patabira and Amba. We shared many a light moment during our many conversations. To this profession of chartered accountancy, I owe much. It has enabled me to serve through knowledge sharing and teaching. It has given me the much prized flexibility which helped me to meet my various commitments at various stages of my life. And it has enabled me to indulge my many interests. I guess that every life is a story of a journey. With His grace, I see that my life is a journey from becoming to being. A journey that I'm still on. I have miles to go before I sleep. It gives me great pleasure to be part of this uh, Nightingale uh, book and I never thought of, um, dreamt of something like this when I gave up my CA and became an entrepreneur. So it's really a pleasant uh, surprise to be featured in this. Uh, having said that, the CA has always been uh, a part of me, uh, whether it, in terms of helping me run the business or you know, just the respect that it gives me whenever I go out and meet people. So really happy to be a part of the fraternity and to be featured in this. As I was working with the Nightingale's team, I was reflecting on my life and I was thinking about what it is that has helped me succeed. And I came up with three P's. The first one being passion. I've been blessed with a sense of passion for anything that I undertake and that has helped bring out the best in me. 
The second P is persistence. Now when one is very passionate about what one does, one is able to focus on the goal undeterred by any challenge that comes in the way. The third and the most important P is people. I've been blessed with some wonderful people in my life without whom I wouldn't be what I am today. I'd like to thank the Nightingales team for helping me put my life in perspective and for giving me an opportunity to count my blessings. Thank you. I'm very much happy to be a part of this edition. I convey my sincere greetings to all the ladies who have become Nightingales in the earlier edition and the future Nightingales also. On the eve of the Women's Day, I convey my greetings to all the CA ladies and girls who are pursuing CA. My thanks to CA Shivkumar and Patabiram for bringing out these editions year after year. All the best. Jai Hind. My name is Pushkala. I am honored and privileged to be a part of this book. I belong to a small town in a traditional family. Irrespective of hobbies of life during my young days, I could bounce back and become a pillar for my family. I feel girls are the powerful gift of the God and only thing we need to do is to break the glass ceiling within us. I am thankful to all who have supported me. On this occasion, I am promising myself to extend the support back to society who are facing similar difficulties. Thank you. Nightingale 3.0 Choice, Chance and Change How 11 women made the choice to take a chance and change their lives.